Hi, this is Jacob Radcliffe, your Extendly coach for tips and tricks. And today we're going to be learning about duplicate opportunities. So first off, I've already created a contact record and I've created a opportunity. And so what you'll realize is if you click new and you try to create another opportunity for the same contact record, Extendly demo, and if you try to create it, it will say it already exists in this pipeline. And so the quick fix for that is to go into your settings and into your business profile, scroll down and check off this little toggle that says allow duplicate opportunities and click any of the green buttons. This now has saved your setting and it's important and worth noting that if you're sending in or creating opportunities in products like Zapier or Make or Padly, that this also affects the API to have this toggled. So now I'm able to go in, whether it's in the contact screen or opportunities, and I'm able to now generate duplicate opportunities for the same contact record. So then what about the toggle inside the workflow builder? So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this off, and you'll notice that I have two opportunities here with the same name. Now what I'm gonna do here is create a workflow and create the opportunity action. And it says create or update opportunity. That's really important. We'll get to that in just a second. And you'll see the opportunity's name is just called test test, one, two, three of the value. And what we'll do is we're gonna leave duplicate opportunities turned off. We're going to run extendly here through this automation. And then what you'll see is that one of our opportunity cards has been changed. So now we have the situation where because there are duplicate opportunities, it's now going to modify this information on this card because it's the first opportunity it found inside that pipeline. And so if you're not trying to modify existing opportunities in that specific pipeline, then what you need to do is come back here and allow duplicate opportunities. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll just call this test um, 123, test 123, and then that's fine. Save, save. Now when we run this again, now we'll take a look. And now we have another opportunity with a new name. So it's going to allow us to create a new opportunity without updating existing ones. But you may have realized that this setting is not toggled on. This is about the user interface options, not the workflow builder. So what is in the workflow builder will override what is in that toggle. So that's really important to know that. And I see a lot of people who flip this toggle on all over different, all different pipelines in different places. Be very careful doing that. Only do this for where the opportunity card is initially created. Because when you do things like a workflow trigger, like a pipeline status change, that is modifying that specific opportunity. So if you were to make a pipeline status change and you had this turned on, then it could potentially generate duplicates in your situation. So if that's happening to you, the easy fix to make that stop happening is to only allow the duplicate opportunity on the initial creation in the initial stage and everywhere else leave this setting turned off. Make sure to drop a comment below on more tips and tricks that you would like to see and remember at Extendly they are very hyper focused on helping you make your high level journey easier. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.